Hello everybody, welcome to a new tutorial. Today I will show you how you can draw this piece in AutoCAD 2021. Like in the previous video, let's put this drawing into our workplace to be our work much faster and easier. The first thing that you must know is if you want to drag or to move the drawing, you should just hold the mouse wheel and just to move the mouse. If you want to zoom in or to zoom out the drawing, you should just rotate the mouse wheel and the magic will happen. Before every single drawing, let's select our units. And for this, I will type units command. Press enter and it will be generated a window right here. My personal preference is to select here decimal. Otherwise, I'm not an architect. I will select decimal. Precision, I will use the just three decimals. I think it's enough for me. The units, it will be in the international system because I'm from Europe. And intersection scale units, it will be in centimeters in my case. But you could also work in millimeters for some details or in meters if you are working on other advanced drawings. The angle, when you want to draw angles, I highly select to let it in decimal degrees and the precision to be with two decimals. And I will select the clockwise unchecked because I prefer the trigonometric sense. So I'll press OK and we are ready to go. The first thing that we will do is to build this rectangle. As I showed you in previous episodes, I will apply the rectangle command. But for this time, I will build it step by step with just four lines. So for this time, I'll press again the line command and start from a random point as I said you before and I will write now the first line which is right here it's about 60 units so I will press 60 and I'll press enter the line command still is active so I can draw the second line so I'll draw it in the right direction and now I will press 100 I will zoom out and I will go up with again with 60 units press enter and I come back in this point or I can write 100 again and press escape. You can press escape for how many times you want because it will not affect your drawing. If you are not sure where this point is, in my case the middle point, go at and write these settings, press enter and here we will have a lot of options that you can check. For example, I must apply the endpoint because I need it. I must apply the center and so on. So I select barely all of them and then I will press OK. The next step that we will do is to build this circle which is located right here. The center of this circle is located on a distance of 10 units far from this side and 10 units from this side as well. So for this my decision is to build a rectangle, basically a square with 10 units each segment starting from this point. So I will apply the rectangle command, press enter and found the endpoint here, this green square. Press click and the first dimension, you will see it here, highlighted with blue, I will write 10. I will press tab and I will write 10 again, press enter. To be even clear, I will deactivate the ortho command for straight lines. The next step, it will be about this circle. I need to build the circle and as you see here in our drawing, I need to have four circles with a diameter of 10 units. And for this time, I will go in this endpoint, I'll write circle, enter, select this point. And as you see here, I'm able to draw the radius, but in my case, I need the diameter. And I'll read here, specify radius, it's not our case, or the diameter. So I'll press D or I can write diameter. It's basically the same thing. Press enter. And now, as you see, I'm able to measure the diameter and I will write 10. Press enter. And now I build the first circle. Click on this rectangle and delete it. I will apply now a new command for you. I have the same dimensions right here, the same circle, so I can easily mirror it. And this is the command that we will apply. I want to apply the mirror command, so write mirror, press enter, and now let's read, select objects. 
I select the circle. Press enter. Specify first point of mirror line. It will be this middle, this green triangle, because midpoint means green triangle. Click on it. And as you see, I need to have a straight line to be exactly on the middle. So I will press auto mode here. And as you see now, I have a straight line. It doesn't matter if it is in the left side or in the right side. So I will click on it and I will be asked erase source object. So to delete the original object and I will said no, because otherwise if I will press yes, this circle will remain and this one will be deleted. So I'll press no. The same command, I will apply it in the other direction as well. So first of all, I will write mirror again, press enter, select the first circle, the second circle and press enter. Now I need to have this midpoint again. Okay, and draw just a line. It doesn't matter to reach the other side as well, or you can go over it. Press click, erase source object no, and I have all those four circles. The next step is to build this line. This line, you can see that it is on a distance of 20 units far away from the other side as well. So I will apply a new command, which is called offset. I'll write offset and I'll press enter. Specify offset distance and I'll select 20. Press 20, enter, and now select the object. I select the object and as you see, if I'll go in this place or in the other place, it will be a parallel line, the same line with my line. Press click on it and press escape. Now let's focus on these two little lines right here. So these two little lines are on a distance of six units. So for this, we will draw a middle line from this midpoint until the other one, and then we'll offset it with three units. So line command, enter, select the midpoint until the other midpoint and press escape. Offset now, press three units, enter, and select the line. I offset it in one side and the command will stay active. So I'll press again on this line and I will offset it in the other side as well. Press escape, select this line and delete it. Press delete key. As you see here, it's symmetrical. So I will select these three lines. So I'll press click and I will select all of them. And now I'll press mirror. I will select the midpoint and I will draw a straight line. Press click. Erase source object no and I have it. The next step that I will do is as you see I have here some little arches. For this time I will use the fillet command. So I will write fillet, enter and I will select radius. Or I can just let the air letter, it's the same thing. Press enter and now specify fillet radius. In my case, as you see here, I have a radius of eight. So I will write eight and enter. Select the first object as is written here and select second object. In our case, this line and press click on it. As you see here, we have a drawing with this radius up to four times. I already draw it for one. So I need to build three another arches. For this one, instead of writing for each time fillet radius eight, I will write fillet, enter, multiple, so just M, or you can write multiple. And the command will memorize or it will apply the previous radius that I used, in our case 8. So select a line, select the other one, and the command will remain active. Select a line, select the other one. Select a line and the other one. Press escape. And now I have all these arches and I gain some time. The final step that we will do is to focus on these two circles. The first circle, it will be on a diameter of 12 and the other one a diameter of 32 units. But I must find the middle of this rectangle. So for this, I will build two lines exactly from the middle. So I will apply the line command, enter, search the midpoint until you reach the other midpoint. Press escape. Line, 
search the midpoint again until the other midpoint and escape circle command now and as you see here i need the first one it will be with a diameter of 12. i will select the midpoint okay and here i have the radius so instead of a radius i can write d12 or i can let it like this and to write just six because a radius of six it's the same with a diameter of 12. so i'll write just six the next circle is with a diameter of 32 so circle again from the same point and let's say i will use the other command so press d from diameter and write 32. now i can delete those two lines so select the line select the other one and press the delete key and now my drawing is complete i hope this video helped you if you want to practice more i highly recommend the other playlist that i have on my channel thank you for watching as always, don't forget to like, share, subscribe to my channel and see you next time.